Uh, I'm Father Boulos Wahbi. Uh, I'm a priest in Beirut, Lebanon. Uh, I'm also a university professor there. Uh, and I've always been engaged in issues of dialogue. Uh, whether uh, with the forum, with the World Public Forum, or uh, by virtue of what I do and the way I live and uh, the way I interact with people and uh, uh, people of other religions and cultures and whatever it is. Um, I believe that the World Public Forum, uh, with respect to what it does, perhaps is increasingly, year after year, proving to be a necessity uh, not only because of what it is, I mean, as a forum that groups many people from many cultures together, many countries, many religions, but because of the issues that it is more and more uh, tackling and uh, perhaps engaging in. Uh, and these issues, uh, many of them, um, some issues uh, we were, I mean, this is all my ninth or ninth time or tenth time um, that I would be attending the Rhodes Forum. Uh, but if one looks back, there are some issues which never go away because the world is always suffering from them and they do not have, uh, seem to have a solution yet. But there are also emerging issues. And uh, because of the uh, current ones that have always been there, and due to the emerging issues, due to tensions in many parts of the world, the forum uh, is uh, positing itself as a model, and not only because of itself uh, being an organization, but it is, um, it is positing uh, to the world a, a model to follow. That means if these people of different cultures and different religions can come together, whether they are experts, specialists, academicians, or business people, or economists, or whatever. Since they are able to come and dialogue, this is a model to follow. Uh, so I think that we need to highlight this, and we need to make people more aware of what the forum is doing, and uh, what it is tackling with respect to the issues of the world. Now, um, the world is moving in two different directions today, and uh, these two different directions are uh, mutually exclusive. One is the world is becoming more globalized with respect to shared values and customs and habits and ways of thinking and patterns of thought. But at the same time, due perhaps to globalization, due to this pressure that is mounting for people to be similar. We are now all using the internet, we are all uh, uh, using technology in the same manner, whether we are from this school of thought or that school of thought. There is also more tension uh, in, uh, arising between people uh, who uh, feel that this uh, pressure of globalization, perhaps because they are not able to cope with it or because uh, of so many other factors, they are becoming more polarized and they are being more fundamentalist with respect to the way they are dealing uh, with the other. So uh, if we can uh, approach uh, issues all over the world the way the forum is approaching them, uh, that means it's a dialogue of specialists, but at the same time, it's a dialogue of the base of people uh, I think that if these two can be bridged and people can approach things listening to the specialist and to the academician, but at the same time benefit, benefiting from the way what I would call the dialogue of life. Uh, now, I, I allow myself perhaps to say this maybe more than others uh, because I, I live in a predominantly Muslim area of Beirut. And I have always lived there. It's a mixed area, but the, pro the dominant uh, flavor is Muslim. Uh, but my relationship with the Muslim is so good. I mean, I, I live in, in a building which has 22 apartments. I'm the only Christian in it. And uh, my relationship with my fellow neighbors and uh, 
with the surrounding and with my school bodies and uh, even my parish is in a predominantly Muslim area. Uh, it's so enriching, it's so beautiful. I mean, even my cultural personality, I'm a Christian, and part of my cultural personality is Muslim because I have taken a lot from them and they have taken a lot from me. And since we are engaging in the dialogue of life, not only in dialogue of ideas, I think that ultimately this is what needs to be stressed. There is a lot of dialogue or specialists going all over the world, conferences and uh, workshops and the books and whatever it is, which is absolutely necessary to put the paradigms and to put the parameters and whatever it is, and perhaps to make more awareness but if it is not coupled with the dialogue of people interacting in their everyday life, I think that dialogue will really reach nowhere.